Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Uh, we're looking into some bolts on this BMW 320D today. We've got the engine warning light flashing up on the dash and it's in restricted power mode. Um, just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, just click on the red subscribe button below. Now, the first thing we've done, we've got it plugged in with a diagnostic scanner and we've got some fault codes in here. We've got bolts relating to the particle filter system, accelerator pedal module, um, we get EGR controller position and the EGR rate control deviation as well in there. Um, this has had a regen on it and uh, we've already checked the DPF levels so we know, we know that the salt, cap, salt contents is low enough to not flag any issues up there. So um, We're just going to go back and um, disconnect the diagnostic machine now. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just put the smoke tester on. Um, just to check for any leaks under the bonnet, make sure all the air pipes are sealed and make sure there's no little leaks from any vacuum hoses or anything like that. And then we'll look a bit further. Uh, so we've got the smoke machine hooked up. Uh, I've put a link in the description below to where you can get one of these from as well because they're a mega bit of kit. Um, really easy to use and just a dead quick test. So I always just plug these on before delving in too deep with anything. Um, but all you need to do is just simply hook an airline up to it. Um, you've got two power leads, which you can just connect to the battery or a power point there and an earth. And then you've just got the uh, bung, basically, which you can just, 90% of the time you can get away with just simply undoing the hose directly off the airbox, and you can pop it straight in there. Um, it will come with a load of different like, blanks and stuff like that as well, so you can sort of bung anything in to test it with it. But they do have like a special solution that comes with them. Well, it's actually just the same as baby oil, so we always use that. It's just a bit cheaper, so. Um, but we put the, we had the smoke tester on already in there, and straight away we could see there's a pipe that just comes off the rocker cover here and straight down to the air box. Quite, can't see it, but it just drops in that hole there. And it's this one here. And um, we could see it was pluming out of it straight away, so. But they, they just go really brittle, these pipes. You can hear it if you if I give it a bit of movement, you can see there. Oh, <laughs> didn't expect it to crack as easy as that again. But yeah, they're just, just as brittle as outlines. So I've ordered a new one of these. Again, I've put a link in the description below uh, to where you can get one from and the part number. But uh, I've ordered one from BMW because they're already about a tenner for a genuine one. So, uh, But we'll get, that, uh, we'll get that fitted and let you know the outcome. We have some new bits arrived today from BMW. So you can see a lot more flexible. And this one now, fairly straightforward bit to fit. You can just see it's got a seal on that end, it's just a push fit on both ends there as well. So you can just see it a bit more clearer now outside. It just pushes straight in there on one end and straight on there on the other end. So we'll just get this popped in, just get the uh, nip that hose clip back up on there, and then we'll clear the carrier, give it a quick run, and, uh, and see what the outcome is. And just got that fitted quickly. I just forgot to say. Um, it does only fit in one way on this bottom hose here. There is just a little lug there uh, which goes on that side of it, uh, but it's pretty self explanatory. You see, it can only fit in one way, so it can fit in on any position on the top there. So let's just put this cover back on, give it a quick run. Right now, before taking it out, I've just cleared all the codes quick. Um, it's allowed me to clear everything barring the particle filter system code. And I think what's happened here is because it's been ran for so long with the pipe split, it's not been regening the DPF properly and clearing the particle filter out. Um, so we're just going to give it a decent run now, probably 20 mile or so. Hopefully it'll self-regen and clear that code out. If it doesn't, we might have to do a, um, a regen via the diagnostic machine, but we'll just go give it a road test now and uh, see what the outcome is. Now, we've just got back from a 20 mile road test. Um, car goes spot on now, not missed a beat. Um, we've just just got back and cleared the codes, which is all cleared, so it's managed to do it through uh, just through a normal driving regen. And so if it hadn't, we might have had to try a, a regen via a diagnostic machine. But so all them fault codes all relating to um, just that little pipe really for a tenner. Um, that's, that smoke machine is an absolute mega bit of kit for the money really for a quick five minute test before messing about and trying any sensors or anything. Just literally spent five minutes banging that on and found the fault straight away. Um, so it's, all, it's well worth getting one of them. Um, just sometimes, it, if it hasn't cleared, the DPF filter actually has a service reset on it as well. And I've had on these BMs where you might actually have to go into the um, service resets and there is 
if you go into the service items there is actually a reset for the particle filter and you might need to just run it through them as well that can sometimes come up with the same code um, but say so I haven't had to do that on this. It's just uh, it's just simply because the DPS got blocked up due to it uh, due to that pipe being split and giving all the wrong air readings and um, flagging all them codes up. So I uh, hope the video helped. If it did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, but thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.